good morning hello welcome back to my channel welcome back to my video or welcome if you're new here i feel like i have so much to update you guys on on my apartment and it is officially spring which is crazy because there is so much snow outside right now there was like a little bit of a snow situation yesterday i have like icicles on my <laughs> balcony right now so it's a cold weekend but it's sunny today and it hasn't been sunny i feel like in like a week like the whole time my dad was here i feel like it was overcast or cold or snowing but it is sunny today and it is a beautiful weekend and we're gonna do a little bit of like spring cleaning organizing updates to my apartment i need to show you guys things one update that you guys can clearly see is that we put a tv up i haven't taken the uh, plastic off of it yet so we'll do that together i have so many things to clean like my dad literally just left um and obviously with two people in the apartment he was sleeping in my room i was sleeping on the couch i had the air mattress but then it was just like I don't know, the couch was just as comfortable and the air mattress was getting in the way. So I decided because he was here for like six nights, it was just annoying. Like I was like, I don't feel like having it out, but I have that here with me now in case I have guests over or whatever. But anyway, first of all, hello, welcome or welcome back. Like I said, thank you for being here. We're gonna do a spring cleaning little apartment reset video today, which I'm so excited about. I have so much to clean and so much to update you guys on, like I said. So we got the TV up, we have settled into the couch, I don't know if you got oh yeah you guys can see this behind me now i have a little kitchen island my dad put that together for me i changed my bed around which you guys probably would have seen in the clips of me making my bed because the the bed frame that i got is not the best thing i've ever had you know and i put it together i followed all the instructions i know i put it together well it's just like a little creaky, a little cracky. I also feel like I need to put like a rug underneath so it doesn't slide as much because these floors are really slippery. And I think that would just make my room a little bit more cozy. But the way that the bed is, now that it's like tucked into the little cove, I didn't think it would fit that way, but then I measured it and it like literally just fits. And it's a lot more cozy, I feel like. And when I was sleeping last night, it was just like, I haven't slept in my bed with a bed frame yet because as soon as my dad got here, I just told him he could sleep in my bed and I slept out here. So last night was my first night sleeping in my bed in the bed frame with it all changed around and it was so cozy and I had such a good sleep <laughs> so that was really nice and yeah we're just gonna clean today and do some organizing I'm gonna go out um, and do like a little walk and go to a couple stores pick up a couple little things maybe we're just gonna go look and browse today after I do some cleaning but we need to vacuum do some dishes sweep uh, Swiffer clean my bathroom organize some stuff but we're just gonna get into the video and thank you guys so much for being here subscribe if you haven't already and let's do some cleaning and organizing i'm so excited i'm so excited to like i feel like i can finally settle like it was so nice to have my dad here but obviously his stuff was here my shit was all over the place my shit is still all over the place but now i feel like i can actually organize and obviously there's still lots of furniture and things that i need but i have some good bones now. I need some bar stools desperately. I'm gonna look at that this week, but if anyone has any suggestions, please let me know. And oh, we got the shelves up too. I'll show you guys like better in better detail. But yeah, I'm just feeling excited this weekend, I'm feeling ready to settle in and clean and just feel organized. And it's good vibes. So, like I said, thank you guys for being here and let's get into the cleaning and organizing. guys the headphones are on which means we're getting deep into the cleaning but before that i wanted to show you guys a couple of the updates that i was talking about keep in mind nothing is complete yet but we have a couple things on the go mainly in the living room bedroom not that different but i will show you and then we'll like organize a couple things together oh it's so nice that i can't wait to go outside uh, actually let me just show you guys the icicles though look at that it snowed last night that's for sure <laughs> It was really cold yesterday. I actually think it's like really cold today too. But like I said, behind me we have the TV, which is so exciting because I didn't think I was gonna get one that would fit there. Remember I was saying that I was thinking about getting, like doing a projector screen, but I couldn't find a projector screen that was like that size. 
And honestly, this 40 inch TV, you can see me, <laughs> fits perfectly like it comes out like half a centimeter on each side but it actually doesn't really get in the way at all like it's actually perfect and the mount is really small my dad did a little bit of cable management for me i'm thinking i'm gonna do like a sideboard or like storage like a dresser or something underneath here just for more stuff and also it kind of like looks weird without something underneath it i can't really do like a normal tv stand because those are low and like long usually so i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna get creative not sure exactly what I'm gonna do yet, but I've been looking online. So again, suggestions are welcome for this area, but yeah, we're gonna have a little bit more storage there, but it fits perfectly and it's so great. I still have the outdoor furniture in here because I just need it right now, but the couch is actually looking adorable and it's getting more comfortable as the days go on. I put this lamp here for now, which is great. It fits in there well. I'm thinking I'm gonna do like those side tables that come up onto the side of the couch which i think would be nice obviously we need like an ottoman slash coffee table so i don't know if i'm going to do an ottoman and a coffee table or an ottoman that can like kind of turn into a coffee table kind of depends on like how far this thing sticks out and everything i want a rug for this area too but this is how it's looking now and then we have my tripod over there but we have the shelves i'm like so obsessed with them they're so good I haven't obviously organized them at all yet, but they look gorgeous. All I have right now is my little lamp, which is adorable. Like she just looks so cute there. I'm so obsessed. And then my best friend, she got me this little cowboy boot photo holder and then a photo of my besties at my best friend's wedding. It's so cute. Obviously I need to do a lot more decorating on here, but we have some organizing first to do. And then the piece de resistance the island i am actually obsessed we got it from canadian tire i'll leave all the links down below i know i've been bad at that but i actually will and it has storage at the front which is dope it's gonna be so great and i need some bar stools so we gotta figure that out but it comes out and this leaf folds down if i ever needed to like push it if we had like guests staying and i needed more space so that's really great and these just like I am actually obsessed with them. I love how like industrial they are because it goes with the vibe of the apartment. And then obviously we have my coffee machine. I need to do something with that because the old Dutch is not giving the aesthetic that I wanted to give with my coffee machine. But it's great. It's amazing. I love it. I'm so into this massive mason jar for my pods. It's so cute. And I did change this a little bit. So I have my like teas and instant coffee and all of that. And then I have my mugs. Lots more room for a growing collection. I can't wait to, maybe I'll buy one today. <laughs> if I find one, I will. So that's the update in there. And then I need to do some laundry, but we got another drawer unit in here. I don't even have anything in it yet, except for extra sheets, which is really great because there's so much room for activity. And then I've kind of reorganized this a little bit. It's really dark actually, let me, there we go. We have extra pods on the top there. We have my drying rack. I have a new vacuum in the back there that I need to actually get out so I can use. And then we've reorganized a little bit. Like it's not perfect, you know, but we have lots of room. I've got my treat selection at the ready back there. And that's kind of the updates in the kitchen slash living room area. I'm so, oh, it's just coming together so well. I'm like so excited. We have changed around the bed. So I'll give you guys a different view. I'm using <laughs> this chair as a side table right now. We need to get a side table. But we've got curtains and the bed is in there in like a little nook. Isn't that cute and cozy? I'm actually really, really into it. So those are the updates there. I have a lot of stuff <laughs> that I need to organize. We've got some boxes we can pop up to put into the closet over there. Still nothing really going on here. I did bring a little drawer unit back with me from my place, which is great to have. I don't know if I'll keep it there. Like I might move it under the desk, but I really want to get like some shelves here, maybe some photos here. Just make it pretty and fun. I really want to get another monitor as well. I'm, I've been so used to using like two or three screens in my last job that I kind of want to go back to that. So still haven't fixed my drawer. <laughs> Doesn't come out. Should have got my dad to do that, but I forgot. I mean, I can do it. I'm capable. We can do it. And then yeah, we need to get all this clothes and shit off the floor and then reorganize that. I still need to get a dresser for in here because that does not fit in there well. I know it looks okay, but it doesn't. And I'm thinking I'm gonna, like I said, get a tall dresser for here and then maybe like another little small TV for my room. And then that would be better for more storage. Again, just using <laughs> the chairs as like tables and space to put things for now. 
And I'll show you guys the bathroom, but it's pretty much looking the same. Again, need more shoe storage. Oh, I'll show you guys what I'm thinking for shoe storage. But yeah, bathroom is still looking the same. I really want to take that thing down. It just doesn't make sense in a bathroom. And this is just absolute chaos. So we're going to organize that together, which is exciting. Organize as best as we can. I still need more stuff. And then I'm going to get under sink storage down here, but don't have that yet. So nothing to show. And I think I've officially landed on a coat tree here. So I'll show you. I'll pop in like a photo of what I'm thinking. It's going to have like two or three shoe storage things on the bottom. And then it comes up into like a coat rack and like things to hang stuff off of. So I'll probably have to take that off just because it won't fit with the other one i do live in this apartment so it doesn't have to look like no one lives here like i'm not about that vibe i kind of want it to look lived in and cute and fun it doesn't have to be like perfect and sterile like that's not my vibe so yeah that's what we're gonna put there and those are the updates oh i'm so obsessed with this view my island and my shelves okay guys we're gonna do something very satisfying together i'm gonna take the stickers off of my tv with you because my, my dad he almost does it now just to piss me off, but like even at his place he's been in for like, I don't know, three years maybe? He, there's so many things that still have the stickers on it. He just like keeps them on. I don't know why. <laughs> it's just a thing about him, but I need the stickers off, so we will be taking them off. Alright guys, we are taking a mid-afternoon, well it's actually like just noon now. Um, we're going to take a little break and go outside because it's actually gorgeous, like the sun is shining, it's cold so I'm going to layer up, but I want to go grab a coffee or a matcha and walk around and go into a couple stores. It's the weekend and we haven't even got to my room yet. We did the living room, like we did some cleaning, we did some tidying. That feels good. I need to come back and do my bedroom after, but we can take a break. You know, there's no one rushing me. So we are going to just get out and enjoy the fresh air for a little while and go into a couple stores. Maybe I'll pick up a couple things, a few pieces of decor, maybe a mug, maybe some organizing bits. I don't know, or nothing, you never know. Um, I just wanna like get outside and walk around a little bit for now. And then we'll come back and get back to organizing, have some lunch, um, yeah. So that's the plan for this afternoon. We're gonna get outside and then get back to some spring cleaning when we get back. Okay, we're home from our boffin and it's actually the nicest day ever. Like I overdressed for sure. It was like, it's cold out, but when you're in the sun, it is so nice. Just felt so good to get outside for a little while. Went into a bunch of different shops. I went into Anthro, Urban Outfitters, some local shops. Oh, I went to this little market and it was like a pop-up, I think, of just local sellers. And it had like people who were making jewelry and they had a flash tattoo thing, which I really wanted to do, but there's a big lineup. It was like 75 bucks for these really cute flash tattoos. So maybe they, if they have it like another weekend, I will definitely do that now that I know. And they had like all these just like mugs and ceramics and it was so cute and it reminded me of London. So it felt really nice. And I got, this is the only thing I got today. So this isn't really a haul, um, but 
I got a little catch-all tray. I need to take the earrings out of it so I can show you guys. But it is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. And I was really wanting something because I just had all my earrings like laid out on my desk. Obviously, I'm going to put them somewhere else. But I wanted something and this was just calling my name. I don't know who, what the company is actually called, but look at it. It's a bunch of bananas. Like, it's so cute. I'm actually dead. And it just holds my earrings perfectly. And I'll throw my rings in there when I'm not wearing them at night. Literally obsessed with that. So I don't know where I'm going to put it. If I'll keep it in my room. If I'll keep it in the living room. The bathroom. I don't know. But it's such a cute little size. Cute little bananas. I'm obsessed. And that was just such a nice day. I also went into the store called Soko Living. I think that, I don't know if that's how you say it. But it's like S-O-C-C-O. -C -C -O, and it was giving very Scandinavian. Like, that was the vibe that they were going for, I think. It had the cutest stuff of all time. And it was like, some of it was expensive, but some of it, some of it was like reasonably priced. They had these little tinned sardine, like tinned fish candles that obviously don't smell like fish. But it was, I was like this close to buying one of those. And I'll, honestly, if I'm still thinking about it this weekend, I will go back and get one maybe tomorrow <laughs> because it was just so cute. Sorry, I'm like missing buttons on the shirt and it keeps falling down, but it was just, yeah, just such a nice little afternoon. I was supposed to be going out tonight, but I don't think I'm gonna be doing that anymore. Plans have changed, I think. So we might just be having an extra self-care evening tonight. So I think I'm going to make some lunch right now because I'm actually starving. And then we're gonna get to organizing and then I'm gonna have an everything shower. Like I need an everything shower so badly. So we're gonna get back into it. That's what this weekend reset is for. And that's what this week upcoming is for to get back into it. I really need to start training because I signed up. Guys, I signed up for my first race, which was one of my 2024 goals. This isn't a half marathon. I am going to do a half marathon in the fall, but I haven't signed up for that yet. It's only a 10K, but it's still an organized race. Those were my parameters, an organized race. And I signed up for one, a 10K in the spring with a couple friends. I'm so excited. And I also signed up for a run club next weekend, a 6K. So I'm going to meet some people and yeah, I'm just feeling really good. And I'm doing a hot Pilates class tomorrow. When I walked back into my apartment today after having been out for a little while, it smells so clean because I did some of that cleaning this morning. I need to flip some laundry, but like I've said three times already, let's go make some lunch and then we can get back into the cleaning and organizing. Okay guys, first bite together as always. Obviously I wish I had like sourdough or something, but I had two rice cakes that I needed to use up and they fit perfectly, so. Mm. Delicious. The layers with like, cause I didn't have that much of the avocado spread left. The reason I got the avocado spread from that place and not their guacamole is cause their guacamole was riddled with cilantro, obviously. And I could just make it at home, but it was, on sale when I bought it and I was just lazy. The cottage cheese and that melted Gouda and the hot sauce, absolutely delicious. Such a good little lunch. Gonna eat this and then we'll get back into organizing. Guys, plans have officially changed and I am no longer going out tonight. So that means the self-care evening starts now. We're gonna put in a hair mask while I do the rest of my organizing and tidying up. So I just like thought about it right now and I was like, let's start that self-care moment right now. Put the hair mask in, keep it in for a couple of hours. And then when I do my everything shower, we'll wash it out. All right, hair mask is in, egghead is activated. Now we get to cleaning and organizing. But before that, I'm still wearing jeans and I feel like it's a criminal offense to clean and organize in jeans. So I will probably change into sweats for that. And then we have to tackle my room and my bathroom. Those are the two things on my list. And now it is time to get to cleaning. Sweatpants on, <laughs> jeans off. That means we're into extreme cleaning mode. So let's do it. We're gonna organize this shit that's on my floor, which I'm so excited to get off of my floor. And then I have three of these that pop into boxes. So we're gonna put those together, which is very simple. <laughs> just like that we love ikea for this shit and i also have one of these oh my goodness 
I have another one of these in my pantry and then I have this one which was empty and I'm like I might as well use it for my closet now and then if I need another thing for my pantry I'll get another thing for my pantry you know what I mean <laughs> just that simple got three boxes one basket that thing that's hanging in my closet now that like hangs on the rod and lots to organize but it's nice to have these hopefully they fit well up there but laundry is in process kitchen is tidy and clean bathroom is as organized as it's gonna get until i get more things for like under the sink and all of that and like in the bathtub my bedroom same thing as organized as it's gonna be for now still need a lot of things i need a bedside table a little dresser some more stuff for in my closet but honestly it's like at a pretty good spot so i'm not mad about it everything's off the floor everything feels so much more like i have space to breathe which feels really really good just a really nice way to like spend my weekend just like getting my shit organized because now i feel like it's time to actually settle right like i was only here for a couple of weeks not even went back home was there for a week came back here my dad was here for a week and now he's gone and i can finally after like officially living here for a month but not actually being here for a month i can finally feel like i'm starting to like live here and start doing things and go make friends and like go out and go on dates and all of that so that is really exciting and i can i finally like i can feel it i feel very excited so it's a good we have a good spring cleaning day good reset and now it's time for the self-care portion i know we started with the hair mask that's still in we're still egging out but i'm gonna get my everything shower now because all the cleaning and the getting on my hands and knees and scrubbing things is done so it's time to wash ourselves and have a cozy night in so i'm so excited i know i've mentioned it like a thousand times already but i am i'm very excited um so we're gonna do that we're gonna grab a shower and get into cozy clothes not that these are not cozy but you know clean cozy if you know you know like after you shave and moisturize there's nothing like putting on like clean clothes and getting slipping into clean sheets and all that you just feel like a little seal like, it feels so good <laughs> so i'm so excited for that I actually feel like a million bucks compared to earlier today. Like I actually just feel so amazing. It is incredible what a shower can do. I am showered, I am shaved. I am gonna wipe my teeth later, like after I eat and stuff because you can't like eat before and after for a certain period of time. And I wanna have some dinner, but I did a little bit of tint on my brows. I didn't wanna do too much, but I just did like a little bit. So that's checked off as well. The only thing I don't think I'm gonna make it to tonight is my nails because it's, 8 30 now and i want to eat some dinner and chill out and doing my nails takes like an hour so that's gonna be a later thing but that's okay because we got to pretty much everything else which is really nice i'm also right now i'm wearing a full pink suit <laughs> don't know why but just feeling very pink right now um i just turned my lights on lit a candle and we're gonna have some dinner so i'm gonna make a mushroom and tofu soup that's what we're gonna have for dinner tonight like i said it's already 8 30 so i didn't want to do anything too complicated and i had it last night and it was delicious so why not i'm gonna pour myself a little kombucha romanticize my little evening in and that's kind of the the gist of my self-care night and then i'm probably gonna do a little bit of editing a little bit of online shopping because i do want to order some stuff like i said this weekend and yeah that's that's kind of it. So I'll get a couple clips of the rest of my evening, but I just wanted to thank you guys now for watching this video. I love you so much. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, comment down below what you do on a self-care weekend. What are you doing for like your spring cleaning? Because I feel like it's just that time of year to like refresh. So let me know if you're gonna like donate some clothes, clean out your house or your apartment. If you're moving anytime soon, like just leave all the spring cleaning and spring reset vibes down below. 
And like I said, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. They're also linked down below. And I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.